Today the, the sun was shining again. The forecast was for a, a gentle wind breeze from a northwesterly direction. So I thought there was a good chance I might be able to uh, fly the three uh, Hyasbok Hawks that I've built recently. Um, but unfortunately the wind was actually uh, coming from a different direction. That often happens when I uh, fly here. So if you look in the distance to the left there's a headland but well, that's where the wind was actually coming from so more of a southwesterly and whenever the wind comes from that direction I find that as it comes up the gentle slope uh, is very turbulent and once it gets over the top of the hill um, it just accelerates and it's very difficult to, to launch anything more than a few meters up so first of all, as you can already see, I've been flying the, what I call the original Riasbot Hawk. So this has the polyhedral wing um, and the standard uh, tail surface arrangement. Um, so what I learned with, with the test glides I was doing uh, was that I could do with some uh, more authority on the rudder and elevator. So I've actually already addressed that, so hopefully the next time there's a bit of calm weather I can test that out. The other thing I learned is that um, I can actually fly uh, this with the CG a little bit further back so it was actually better that way. So now this is the second highest buck hawk I built. So this one just has um, standard dihedral wing and um, the arrangement on the tail surfaces was uh, more in line with a, a DLG glider. I also shortened the, the, the carbon rod boom as well. And uh, I was really ha happy with how the glide went. Uh, launches were nice, um, but by now the wind seemed to be strengthening. Um, so sometimes it felt like I was launching into a brick wall and uh, the wind just forced it to turn and go quite fast round behind me. But again, like with the first version, um, I just need to make the rudder elevator um, action a little bit more positive. So once I'm happy with how I've done it on the first one, I'll apply it to this one as well. And again, I can fly with the uh, CG a little bit further back as well. And this one is my aileron version, still with rudder and elevator as well. I was really quite pleased with the sort of response I was getting from aileron um, authority on this, so that was good. Because I, I had dialed it right down to just a little bit of throw. So I can, as I get the right sort of feeling with it, I can increase that um, accordingly. Um, but as with the first two, um, I can fly with the CG a bit further back. In fact, with this one, I was adding weight to the tail. So I should be able to fly it with um, a smaller battery, actually, and it should be quite good. Um, but the wind was just getting stronger and stronger. So what you see me doing now is that I go to the top of the hill and uh, actually just not slope saw because you can't slope saw with the wind in that direction it just roars up the hill and straight over the top so there's no lift there but at least I could see what sort of control I was able to get with the glider um, and um, it seemed quite quite happy uh, with that strength of wind just as long as I kept the nose facing into the wind it was it was okay all right so that's it for this for the moment and thanks for watching